Hi, and welcome back to the lab. In the last episode, we ended off on selecting a cover stock to kind of match to your physical game so that you can get the right layout drilled by your pro shop professional and then get it matched up so that you can be competitive on the lanes. Well, there's another magical secret that has to happen, and that's altering the cover stock to match up to the condition that you may be bowling on, whether it's a house condition or a tournament condition or one of those PBA experience leagues that might be around the country or even sport bowling you want to get your equipment fine-tuned to match up to that condition that changes. So we're going to talk about cover stocks and how to alter them in these next episodes. So let's get started with looking at the different types of surface adjustments that we've had along the years and what's modern in today's game. So if you've been a seasoned bowler for a very long period of time, you know that changing cover stocks has come a long way. Many years ago we used to use regular sanding discs or sanding pads. And these pads were, you can find them for woodworking. We found them very common for sanding the texture of a surface of a piece of pine or a piece of oak, you know, or furniture um, sanding. But nowadays, we transition into products that look more like a Scotch-Brite. This one happens to be Merlon. And then we've got the new abrasive pads that are foamed back. And these are quite popular in today's game. You'll find these products available at your normal pro shops um, throughout the nation and they're great at changing the surfaces. But one of the good things about these is that they come in different grades of grit. You'll see them stamped and numbered in the back and they'll change and alter the texture. So one of the easiest applications that you can do as a bowler to match up your equipment to the, to the lane condition is just randomly find a grit texture that works for you and then go ahead and change that surface. Go ahead and create random circles around the surface of that cover stock to alter that condition as it tracks on the lane. So what you're looking for is to create enough little sanding circles or random peaks and valleys with the texture of this grade of grit and get that ball to track on the lane a little bit better. So depending on your preference, whichever one you use, sanding abrasives are here to stay and they're part of the new game.